Hibben Vuong MP, has raised significant concerns regarding the carbon tax, highlighting its potential economic impact on Canadians and the perceived inefficiency of policies in tackling global pollution. What is your reaction to Trudeau's most recent testimony regarding foreign interference? So there were two things that really stood out for me. First was that he said he doesn't really read the briefings, and that just blows my mind. But actually, it explains now why there are members of his cabinet who think it's okay to say, yeah, I, I didn't read the emails when Canada was evacuating Afghanistan from the Taliban and left people on the ground in danger. Why their public safety minister in relation to foreign interference and threats against MPs and others and their families said, well, I, di I didn't bother to get access to the top secret servers to be able to read the emails to me. It is, I can't even begin to imagine what sort of leader thinks it's okay to say, I don't really do the readings. I don't, and then at the same time claim that to listen to the experts when he doesn't read what the experts might say. The second thing that really stood out to me was when the prime minister somehow saw fit to reject CSIS's version and interpretation of the recording they had between the consul general um, and, and the member for Don Valley North. I didn't know the prime minister was fluent in Mandarin. When did he have the time to learn that? Maybe, I guess, because he's not bothering to read any of the briefings. Um, but for him to be able to reject the advice, interpretation, and versions of a professional intelligence agency and their experts, again, is something that I have a lot of trouble reconciling. The prioritization of economic factors over ethical and ecological concerns and environmental policies raises profound implications. It prompts scrutiny of the authenticity of policies that might exacerbate socioeconomic disparities while ostensibly addressing climate change. Criticism is directed towards the government's approach to environmental issues, emphasizing its preference for domestic interests and its failure to hold other polluters accountable. At the core, lies a debate between leadership, professionalism, and authenticity. A leadership steel that prioritizes individual convenience over ethical obligations and intellectual engagement raises doubts about public trust and societal values. Kievan Vong MP particularly critiques Justin Trudeau's leadership style, highlighting his apparent disregard for briefing materials and expert advice. This critic underscores the necessity for greater governmental accountability and transparency, urging leaders to be actively engaged and responsive to critical concerns. The essence of trust and authenticity in the relationship between individuals and institutions is brought into question. Leaders who dismiss expert advice and institutional recommendations undermine public trust and social cohesion. I concur with Kevin Vuong MP's skepticism regarding Justin Trudeau's reluctance to heed intelligence agencies' counsel, stressing the importance of upholding professionalism and institutional integrity in matters of national security and diplomatic relations. It is imperative to advocate for policies that uphold trust in democratic institutions and shield them from political interference.